Steve AI quickly create animated videos for YouTube. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula, and here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are at Steve AI. Now we're going to be talking about how you can actually turn this into a YouTube video. Now, a lot of people think that artificial intelligent voices shouldn't be used for YouTube because they'll be demonetized. Well, they're not going to be demonetized at all. In fact, there are videos out there from the managing director of YouTube herself. And she's saying YouTube videos with artificial intelligence are not demonetized. So that's not something you ever have to actually worry about. Because the truth is, it's not going to get demonetized just because they're using computer animated voices. They realize that there are people who are from different countries whose English is not as good as it should be. So they understand that by using artificial intelligent voices, they can in fact have some good content that is clear, concise, and is able to be uploaded onto YouTube where people can understand what's being said. So with that being said, let's keep going. Okay, so what we're doing over here is we're gonna be looking over here at a article, which is this one here, anger management tips to use in stressful situations. Now I'm gonna grab 100% of this, and we're gonna put this straight into Steve AI. Now we're gonna be going over here to script to animation video. When you first sign in, now let me just show you the pricing before we go too far. Over here is the pricing. Right now, AppSumo has got a discount on it where it's $339 for Steve AI. But with that being said, allow me to show you this. This is what you get. Okay, so I've got this AppSumo one, which is the tier three. Now this is the tier three level, which is, which I thought would have been the, the equivalent to the pro, but it's not. In fact, the tier three level is more like the $45 level. When you get that, if you want to get rid of the Steve AI watermark, like this one here, on the video, you really need to go for this one here, the pro. The pro version will allow you to be able to get get rid of any watermarks whatsoever and you can also do 40 videos per month which can be essentially one YouTube video per day and you can also have up to 2k resolution and you can have 20 voice accents in English so these are some of your options or you can do this one which is 10 voice accents or if you're going to be doing this one at $180 uh, per year. This is a, the yearly amount. Now, if you want to do monthly, it's going to go up substantially. This one here ends up being $60 a month and you get 15 video downloads per month, 1080 resolution, 10 voice accents, and you get all these. Now, I'm going to go back to my other one, which is this one here, because I don't particularly want to have the watermark show up on my video. So I'm going to go back over to this one right here and stay with this one. All right, so we're going to go over here to Steve AI. We're going to upload this over here. So be aware of that. You will need to, if you do go over to AppSumo, even if you get the highest plan they have there, you will still need to upgrade if you want to get rid of the Steve AI watermark. So that being said, you have got two options here. You've got your script to video, or if you click on this little arrow over here on the right hand side, click on that, it will give you script to animation video. And that's the one we're going to be looking at today. So let's just click on that. And when this wakes up, we have, this will come up with this here. Now this here, auto-generated script. Now this will give you a script that is already pre-written if you wish to, but I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to click away from that straight away. Now one of the things I'm going to be doing right here is putting this straight into here. Of course I've already copied, because I've already copied this, right click copy just to make sure I have and then I'm going to just paste it straight into here now because it'll actually recognize what the video is about 
it will then animate it quite well. Now I'm going to call this one YouTube. And, oops, a daisy. There we are. You have animated videos, all sources, and we're going to be putting a voiceover on it. And I'm going to be choosing a male in this particular case. And, oh no, I'm going to just choose a female. I'm just going to leave it with the female. And I'm going to, because it's, it's, because it's Joanna, let's have a listen to what she sounds like. Hello, I am Joanna from Steve. I'm one of the voices you can use to make your text lifelike. When I read your text, it sounds like this. Hello. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to generate the voice using her. And then we're going to go over here to next. We can click on that. But as you can see, oh, before we do, I'll go back a little bit to the script. And I want to show you something. This has 31 frames. And as you can see, when you look up here, we'll generate the video for the first 30 scenes. So in actual fact, the first 30 frames, it will only generate it up to this particular point here. Now, if you wish to say, for example, have 60 frames, what you need to do is create two videos, put them into a video editor and butt them together. And that way you can have 60 frames if you need to. And that way you can double the length of your video. But do be aware it will eat into how many videos you can create. All right, so let's go over here to next. We can click on that. And then you've got these options here. Now, because this one is going to be about emotional things, I think this one looks like it might well be a good one to have. So we're going to click on that. Now, the one thing I love about this is that all the characters in here have so many different expressions. And the beautiful part about that is they can display the expression and the anger and anything else that they wanted to do. And when you watch this, and you have a look at some of the frames, you'll go, wow, this is showing somebody who's actually angry. And look at this, see? When an individual is dealing with anger issues, usually their emotions involve, evolve when put into stressful situations. Now let's have a listen to this. When an individual is dealing with anger issues, usually their emotions evolve when put in stressful situations. He looks like he's actually angry. So that works really well. And if you wish to, to reduce the transition time, you can click it down there so as it's got a shorter scene. I highly recommend you do that because sometimes the trend, the videos can be a little bit long in between scenes if you're not careful. So you click on there. And then what I just do is I just reduce the timing. And as you can see, it's really, really good the way it does it. And you can click through and you can scroll around and have a look at the various different scenes. Now, let's say, for example, you want to have a person in here. Once it subsides, the problem is still there. Okay, let's click on that. And we can now go change property. Now, over here, you've got uploads, which means something you've actually uploaded before. You've got properties, or you can choose characters. Now, let's say, for example, you want to choose characters. And let's say you want to choose uh, him. All right, let's say you want to choose him. You can now choose him. And then you can also click on him again, and then you can change the action. When we click on that, we'll have a look at the type of actions it can do. Now you can have a look because it's got here your problem or subside. Now you can have here, I might go for this one here or this one here. You can have a look at this, even that one there looks pretty good. So I might stick with that one. And we can now press play and have a look. Once it subsides, the problem is still there. So there you go. Now, also you can have a look over here. You can click to the next one. You can choose transitions if you wish to, or you can not have them. You can just continue scrolling through just to make sure that everything is the way you want. If there is a friend or family member who is easy to talk to and understanding, it might be good to talk to them. Let's change this one. Because let's say that's going to be a different type. Let's change the action of the character and make it this one friendly. Okay, we'll make it friendly, there we go. And we're gonna change the frame type because the frame is out of sync. So click on that one down there and we can choose the different ones because as you can see, the words are actually coming over his face on this one. So let's choose one of these other ones. So I'm gonna choose this one here. And that looks better, so we can apply that. If there is a friend or family member who is easy to talk to and understanding, it might be good to talk to them. 
there we are. And once again, you can change the timing if you wish to. And you just scroll through until you get to the very end. And as you can see, oops, it is. What's that one? I didn't see that one. Okay, talking to someone may help where them by sharing. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's go talk and see what it comes up with. All right, so can have somebody talking. There we go. It looks like somebody talking just there. That will do. There we are. You can move on. And as you scroll through, you can have a look. And as, these very much suit what you're talking about. As you can see the expressions on their face, they're looking rather angry. And he's got an angry look on his face as well. She's looking rather sad and conflicted. And as you scroll through, you can see this is in fact, we'll just go back one. This is in fact a really awesome way of doing it. Uh, without it, I'm going to talk to you. Okay, let's change action. We're going to talk. All right, let's have... In fact, I'm going to choose this one. All right, so let's have a look. Without anyone to talk back or object to what they have to say, it may be helped to get their feelings off their chest. Alright, so we're just going to double click in there for one second. Then I'm going to remove that. And we're going to apply. And then we're going to re-listen to this again. Without anyone to talk back or object to what they have to say, it may help to get their feelings off their chest. That's better. Okay, so we just click on that and we can just go through and get right through to the end. Now, if you want to watch this particular video, I have this one in my Freedom Formula channel. If you really want to watch this one, I'll have, have the uh, already uploaded by the time this one comes out. Okay, so that's Steve AI. Now you can use these as YouTube videos if you wish to. My suggestion would be to get the higher level one where you don't actually have any watermarks on the screen if you can avoid it because you probably want to avoid watermarks if you can. Primarily because it's going to ruin the person's experience. And I don't know whether anything has got that kind of little watermark on the bottom will be allowed to be monetized. So that's an issue too. So you might want to go for the high level one and pay the yearly version of that. So as you can have this and you can hopefully get monetized within a year by uploading these on a regular basis, perhaps even a daily basis. All right, guys. Now, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And bye for now.